Try this healthy upgrade for toast. Lose the bread altogether and instead go for beta carotene rich sweet potato. Couldn't be simpler. Sweet potato toast is nothing more than just roasted planks of sweet potato. Super simple, right? Now the trick to this is cutting your sweet potato into kind of wide planks. I'm going about half inch here. And the reason I wanna use half inch planks is so that once it roasts, it's still pretty substantial and filling and hearty and it can stand up to all the toppings that I wanna put on. So here's the last guy, shooting for half inch. So I've got half inch here. Oh, you've also noticed I've left the skin on. That is where all the nutrients are. We wanna make sure that we get all those delicious vitamins and minerals, so. Transfer the planks to a large bowl. Drizzle with about a tablespoon of olive oil and season with salt and pepper. Just do a little toss through. So there's all kinds of different varieties of sweet potato. I'm partial to the bright orange, but there's also the purple variety. There's sort of a pale white interior. Okay, this looks nicely coated. So transfer this to rim baking sheet, and we wanna make sure that everything's in a nice even layer so it cooks nicely. All right, now roast this at 400 degrees until they're all the way tender and a little caramelized, about 30 minutes. So sweet potatoes have roasted and cooled slightly. These can be held in the refrigerator in an airtight container for up to a week. Well, let's get dressing with all of our goodies. Let's see, we'll start with this guy. So sweet potato toasts are super versatile, same way that you would handle regular bread toast. I'm gonna start with a fun variation here with sort of like a play on peanut butter and jelly, but instead of jelly, I'm using fresh fruit. I've got almond butter here, but you could use really any nut butter that you happen to have on hand. So this kind of has like a tropical twist. Top that with fresh mango. Yum, yum little bit of raspberry. You know what, these raspberries are kind of on the big side. I'm just gonna give them a haircut. Oh, and look how nicely they fit on. And some blueberries. Love to see all this color whenever I'm eating. That means I'm getting lots of antioxidants, lots of minerals, vitamins, nutrients. Always look for a colorful plate. So we'll transfer this guy. But wait, there's more. A Little bit of toasted unsweetened coconut. This adds a really, really nice texture. The flavor pairing with the sweet potato is excellent. Kind of brings out the natural sweetness in the sweet potato. Okay, so one, done. Next up, let's go savory. Sweet potato, let's go with a little sauteed chopped greens. This is a great way to use up any sort of leftovers you have in your fridge, odds and ends. If you're using greens, make sure you give them a coarse chop. It just makes eating a little easier. I'm gonna top this with some hard cooked egg. Nice hit of protein. Kinda reminds you that it's breakfast. Perfect. And season it with a little salt and pepper. And that is number two. Third up, let's go more savory. Wouldn't be breakfast without a little bit of sliced avocado. Love our avocado here. It's just a few thin slices. To that, add some tomato. Avocado, tomato, such a great pal. Squeeze a lemon. This sort of wakes up the avocado and keeps it from coloring. Sprinkle of sesame seeds. Great flavor, texture. Season. Gorgeous. And last but not least, this is the one I consider sort of the snacking toast. This makes a great afternoon pick-me-up. So I have a little bit of hummus here. Hummus is just one of those great staples I love to keep in the fridge. Makes snacking very, very easy. You get the nice amount of protein from the chickpeas. All right, so we've got our hummus. And we're gonna do some sliced cucumber. This adds a nice amount of crunch, more color, some sliced radish. Love that spicy kick of a radish. And then some nice, crunchy sprouts on top. That looks lovely. A little salt and pepper. You know what, let's do a little olive oil. Let's be crazy. Yum. On plate we go. Okay, 
How scrumptious does this look? See, so many colors, lots of different variety, protein, greens, vegetables, we've got everything here. Let's try. I think I'm gonna go for the uh, classic breakfast with the egg. Just give it a little cut here. Looks good. Mmm, really tasty, satisfying, great way to start your day. Can't wait for you to try it. Want more healthy recipes like this? Don't forget to like and subscribe.